Hello and welcome to Table of Geekles, episode 28. Spoiler alert, no bitching. Back today is the whole table here. This is Alex. This is Bill. <laughs> and Gavin. How's it been this week? Have you, uh, has everybody been putting their thought into the, uh, the celebrity sleaze pool idea? No. No? <laughs> no, I'm horribly unprepared. I was staying at my desk. Oh, good. That's uh, why I like to hear no, that, because awesome. I want to win. Uh, really, we're all winners here. Oh, uh, okay. With this game, we are all winners. Well, unless, mm. you're, unless you're one of our subjects, and then you're <laughs> probably a True. big loser. But in which um, case, it wasn't our fault. You did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. nothing to do with it. Karma. Karma, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was sitting at my desk at like 4.30, and... Uh, I, I was looking through some things uh, to maybe think about uh, for the for the week in geek, and you know, I don't know when the last time you guys were students was, but like you know that that Long momentary realization where you're just like, oh no, oh no, I had I had this to do. <laughs> <laughs> that report I didn't is due that. in the morning. Oh, oh that's, yeah, uh, my test is that's today. not yeah. happening now. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, that that was my week at all, yeah. but. Uh, Man, it's just the beta tests. We'll get through it. Oh yeah, I'm not worried. Right. I mean, I think like I know enough shit about people. Like I'll probably just, I'll have a hard time with this with the athletes, but yeah, that's my know, weak Derek, category and all. You get my back on that. Uh, I can try. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really kind of hoping. I'm really kind of hoping that I'm gonna get some help from other people. Well, because... regardless, we we do want to pick the ones that will be most entertaining. Yes, to watch. Yes. So I mean, I'm just looking for the ones. I'm playing a long game. I figure I'm not gonna go for anybody who's going to do anything like really crazy, but somebody who's gonna score low every single week, <laughs> and I'll play the long game. How many weeks did we decide on? Ten. Uh, three months. So. Three months? Twelve. Twelve weeks? Okay. Yeah, that's long enough to play a long game. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm going for the ringers. You I'm are? Going to, I'm going to go for the bigger names, see what happens. Well, you, you're in a newsroom all day long. <laughs> yeah, well, and I figure that I can kill on the sports stars, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's, that's my uh, ace in the hole. Because you're in a room full of nerds. <laughs> uh, in both worlds, man. Foot anybody have worlds. anything geeky this week? I, yeah, there's a few major things. Yeah, I know, but but specifically to you, to like, me personally, that is that is geek centered. I, I don't know. I'm looking those. at uh, I'm looking at your hoodie, man. Yeah, and I'm saying that you know I can't help but notice that you've got a Bane mask on your head. That so is true. Those and are a both. caricature of yourself on your hoodie. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's a hell of a uh, so outfit. Which, which should I address address first? Um, well, it's always Halloween, so yeah. I Bane mask. The, the Bane mask. <laughs> oh God! Now it's on his face. Thank God he couldn't well, find a MODOK mask. I it was time to have another special guest on the show. <laughs> he has a very similar voice to MODOK. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. MODOK! <laughs> <laughs> MODOK, <laughs> it's been too long. How's it going, friend? How do, how do uh, small children enjoy that mask? Not very much. <laughs> it breaks this gentle giant's heart. I try to explain that I'm not the monster they know me to be, but they don't listen. <laughs> Where did you get the mask, Bane? Well, uh, years ago I was born in a cave. Okay, where did you get the mask, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I... <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have a scratch and dent box, so occasionally, oh, nice. uh, occasionally boxes will come into the comic shops. You have to order them. They're basically giant surprise bags. Nice. Yeah, uh, they're so cool. They're awesome. Uh, they just throw a bunch of stuff that like other stores have returned. Uh, who who do you get this from? Uh, Diamond Distribution, so oh, like the big yeah. uh, distributors. And I love just, this idea. It's yeah. like a little mini Christmas. It really is, and like it's it's funny too because they're not always available. So what will end up happening is you'll put orders in. And then you'll put more orders in for them. So eventually, sometimes you just get like you, you like you'll find out the week before. Oh yeah, you've got uh, twenty of these coming. Like, oh, okay. Well, it's it's fun in a sense, but then sometimes you get like eight of the same statue, and right. they're all broken in the exact same place. Oh. Or like you'll get uh, two hundred of the same like little weird toy, but then other times you get amazing things that you're like. The box is dented, 
but it's like an amazing toy or an amazing model or something and you, you just like I will buy this. Thank you. <laughs> and are these surprise boxes the same price every time when you yes. get them from Diamond? It's a it's a flat price. I'm not gonna... it, it's it's pretty reasonable. It is. What's a reasonable the coolest price. thing you pulled out of one, Gavin? Uh, gee, I got a bunch of good T-shirts. Yeah. Uh, some those I dented, love this idea. Those <laughs> I've never heard of this before. <laughs> this um, dented T-shirts. Yes. Well, <laughs> well like, misprints I, and what have you. You know, I have a huge statue collection, and oh, yeah. uh, from the Avengers Reborn line from Kotobukuya. Um, I pulled a, a Thor statue out of the out of one of the boxes, and yeah, it was broken in like four places. But I'm not a stickler for that. Yeah, I, easy glue. I, I'm, I'm really good at gluing things together. <laughs> You're so a glued, geek. Yeah, awesome I glued it together, power. and now I have an I have the full set actually uh, that I got for a very reasonable price. That's awesome. So I've never heard of that before. That's wicked. It's it's an amazing uh, deal. Also a wicked hoodie. Thank you. Yeah, that's the other cool thing. I did uh, my zombie talk last night at uh, uh, Acadia University, and uh, on on the way out there, I stopped back at uh, Quantum Frontier, and, and Pat, the owner, my old boss, he surprised me with a couple things. One, he had business cards made for me um, <laughs> that uh, you know label me as the a zombie expert or a sur- zombie survivalist and a, a comics expert. And uh, on the back of the card, it has uh, a little caricature, uh, apparently drawn by Dave Howlett of Strange oh, yeah. Adventures. And um, then he presented me with this awesome hoodie that has <laughs> that same caricature, uh, surrounded by the zombie survival guy. Uh, it has a little crest on the chest and then a giant crest on the back. So it's very is, slick. It's very awesome. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, it takes a special kind of jackass to wear clothing with <laughs> and the, you their are own just face on that it. So I am. It's perfect. Well, and it fits into my persona on stage. I say persona, but it's basically me on yeah, stage. It's not, <laughs> Don't it's, tell. Uh, <laughs> I've, seen you, I've seen you do that. You know what I like the most about your zombie talk is when you give away stuff at the end of it. Like somebody get, comes up, asks a question, and you go, that was a good question. You get Walking Dead, issue one, <laughs> right? That's how... Uh, and then all of a sudden, it's fun to watch it because all of a sudden, a very <laughs> thin lineup becomes a very thick lineup yeah. Yeah. very quickly. And people start asking really shitty questions. Yeah. I'm like, that was a, like, I'll answer their question and I'll say, that was a really shitty question. So you don't get <laughs> you anything. You don't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Yeah, it's not an all ages show. Uh, yeah, obviously. Apparently, yeah. last year and the year before, apparently, a couple of people complained. And like I always, that's why I sing the content warning well, song I before gave, every show. I gave I gave them fair notice. Like I said specifically, okay. So I see some kids in the audience. I'm not going to question your parenting choices. That's hey, do, fine. Do you want me to sing the content warning <laughs> song yeah. before your before your show? <laughs> so I would. The problem is time management already. Like is already my enemy because when I do these university shows, I'm pretty much given free reign uh, of how much time I want to do with Halcon. Uh, last year, for example, I had done three university shows before my first Halcon show, and that each one of those was like an hour and a half, two hours, you know, including questions. And then my first show at Halcon, you know, forty-five minutes. Uh, you know, I'm I'm like a third of the way through it, and the guy goes five minutes. No. <laughs> oh <Right> my god! <laughs> ah. So. <laughs> Uh, I would I would take up on that offer, but I, I need to... Well, anytime. If, yeah. you're, if you're doing one in town, let me know somewhere. Like, yeah. you know, I'll come up to the university <laughs> in front of a bunch of academics and sing the content warning song. Yeah. I mean, anybody who, who is listening who is a university uh, student, talk to your university if you'd like to, to have me come out. I mean... I... It's a really easy credit. It... <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. zombies aren't yeah. real. But not an all-ages show. So essentially what we're saying is that Alex Hall doesn't care if kids die during a zombie attack. Hell no. They're nice and slow. They get eaten first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, they're great bait. Uh, no. And, and uh, good I, do, I, I have actually done Easy all-ages ever- versions. Well, historically, the spunky um... kid does fairly well in most zombie literature. <laughs> yeah. I did, uh, I did in, in uh, May, I did a show at a friend's private school um like one of, one of the classes she teaches I, I ended up doing one there that was for kids between uh, like 12 and 16 so they ended That's up awesome. you know i had to be very kid friendly i actually did one a couple of years ago at the bedford public library 
for kids aged, I think, 5 <laughs> to 12. <laughs> so, like, I, I shortened the actual presentation down to, like, 20 minutes. Very tongue-in-cheek, very, like, not scary. And then I had a craft. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you do care. That's I awesome. do, I do. That's good. So, what was the craft? Um, <laughs> so, Make your own zombie head. Uh, sort of. Wow, um, I just pulled that out of so, my ass. And... Uh, what what you do is you take a... Uh, <coughs> like you go to Dollarama and you get a set of uh, wooden cooking spoons. And you get like five of them for a buck. And then you t- gl- hot use a hot glue gun to glue uh, felt pieces, yarn pieces, pi- uh, pipe cleaners. You can paint them. And basically make your own little wooden zombie. Uh, that kind of resembles... Uh, the one that I did kind of resembles the grr arr, uh, okay. from the end of Mutant Enemy uh, yeah. TV shows. <laughs> anyway, you can have fun with it for sure. But uh, yeah, no, I do. I do. <laughs> I am able to censor myself when the situation requires it. Well, we all can. It just sucks when it does. Um, I'm digging your shirt there, Bill. I didn't notice that until Mr. you Miracle? sat down. Mr. Yeah. Miracle? Yes. That yeah. is a... You don't see a lot of Mr. Miracle shirts. No, you don't. I don't see a lot of Mr. Miracle. Sort of an underrated you know, character. Yeah. I like Jack Kirby. Uh, I like his style. Grant Morrison like brought him back. The uh, Sovereign Seven storyline. The Seven Soldiers. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. That, that was pretty was solid. That, that was, was pretty solid. That was a good story for him. That's probably when this shirt was purchased. Right around that. <laughs> that Fair. Run, Fair it is. Uh, no, it was... Uh... Too funny. Do you have anything geeky happening? Uh, nothing that good. Uh, <laughs> just the usual comic books. And uh, and internet nerd rage. Speaking of which, let's get on to the Week in Geek. Yes, let's. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's not stand on... Uh, let's go right to the meaty stuff. <laughs> uh, X-Men Days of Future Past trailer. Everybody here has seen it? Yep. Yes. Yep. Everybody mm-hmm. here has read The Days of Future Past? A long time yes. ago. Many moons ago, yeah. but yes. Yeah. So, um, it, this kind of came up on our way here, but uh, that is a huge cast that they are going to have to introduce over... Or reintroduce. Or reintroduce, reintroduce over two movies. Um, I'm really, like, this is the kind of thing... Now, um, for instance, this is the kind of thing that should be a three movie arc, the days of future past, not the Hobbit, but, uh, I digress cause I will do this all night, well, but the, 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 the actual book was only a couple of issues. The days of future past. Yeah, no, that's yeah. true. The actual, it's I mean, only a couple it, of issues. It's, I don't think it's even a full graphic novel. No, it's, it's pretty short. It had some pretty massive fallout because it established yeah. the dystopian world and, Definitely it's a major, yeah. major follow, like fallout, but the actual story itself yeah. was quite concise. So. I, I like, uh, honestly, I I gotta say that it, it kind of, it kind of hit me sideways when I got to see Hippie Xavier uh, <laughs> in the. I'm not I'm not sold on James McAvoy in almost everything I've seen him in. I don't know what? why. No, I, I don't. There's something about him. Same conversation we had a couple weeks He's ago breathing. about Sandra Bullock. It's just an actor that no, I fuck can't. Sandra Bullock see as a character he's i just i don't know he just feels like he's acting all the time but i don't have a problem i don't think they'll have a problem getting the story into days of future past it's what you said off the top so many characters and now there's two of a bunch of them you know like it's just gonna be so populated and so hard to find screen time for the the smaller i I really hope it's a two and a half hour movie oh i it would have to be it would have to be I like. I mean, some of the other. Uh, I think we're X-Men looking at a great old like Spider-Man three kind of. No. Well, I've that's certainly the Golden fear, Gunsman. but I I think that at this point uh, they're going to throw every mutant or mutant like character they can grab onto that screen, if for no other reason <gasps> than to claim the licensing. Well, not only that, um, Days of Future Past, uh, you're going to get away with killing. A lot of characters because it's in the future. It yeah. doesn't matter. It's going to change. So there's going mm. they're going to be able to establish the gravity of the situation by blowing storm into little pieces. Or who knows? Yeah. Like I know it didn't happen, but um, I also want to see uh, uh, Haley Berry with a mohawk. But <laughs> uh, it's not gonna I don't think that's going to happen either. 
But as a movie, the promo looked good. The trailer it looked great. It looked like it's going to be a lot of fun if they pull absolutely. it off. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I, I know that a trailer looks awesome and that a movie looks awesome. If at the end of it, I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> more, more. I, I find a lot of times, though, a good trailer means a crap movie. Like, Hitman had a fantastic trailer. Yeah. Yeah, but it was Hitman. There wasn't a whole lot of story there to begin with. There's like eight video games. Yeah. And they've all got pretty good storylines. But it's like anything revolving around... Max Payne. Uh, the, the, yeah. The, the, oh. the, the promo horrible The movie. one that you're playing. I mean, like, the the reason why these games are exciting is because you're doing the yeah. things. You know? Well, that and I'm shooting I, I, the guy I'll with watch, a crossbow I'll and giggling. I'll watch Timothy Oliphant do just about anything. Seriously. Yeah. 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 He gets a free pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. Fair. True. Um, no, but I'm, I'm super, super pumped for this film. I think it's going to be great. Uh, I'm not going to go in with cautious optimism and I'm going to, I'm going to go full in. I, I, oh, I, can I, I come with you? I, yeah. I want to film the look on your face nah. as you're slowly crushed. It's like evolution in I reverse. Need see, <laughs> I need to see more trailers. It didn't happen with uh, Man of Steel. From the previews I, I, and from what I read going into it, I was like, fucking A. Yeah. And um, then as it unfolded on screen, I was like, fucking A. So, yeah, I no, mean, I again, was... again, I know a lot of people have their problems with that movie, but... And I'm sure there will be problems with Days of Future Past, but yeah. since th- I don't believe it will ever, it will ever get as close to being as or anywhere close to being as bad as uh, Constantly. Rise of the Silver Surfer X3. or X Three. Oh my or, god! And X Three even had some redeeming moments, but not many. But like, or, <laughs> we're not or watching or it right creme, now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man. Oh man! It's yeah. not going to be anywhere near that bad because. Too many characters, though. Like this is my uh, like. So I, I get. Many. I love. I because I love the theme. Because I don't know. I like Magneto as a good guy. So I really like Days of Future Past because he's like you're <coughs> conflicted. He's a really bad guy who's doing good. Well, he's thi- not a bad guy. Well, he's every bad guy thinks what he's doing is good. A good bad guy does, yeah. and he is a good bad guy. So he's definitely a bad guy. So. I just you guys can't. lost me. Well, any any <laughs> good bad guy, any bad guy worth his salt thinks what he's doing, he's doing yeah, for good reasons. Obviously. And that Except is... Except for MODOK. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stop talking about me! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, I, was, I mean, Claremont did some really great stuff with X-Men back in the day. Well, he had like two decades to do yeah. it. So yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. I mean, you get past all the little winking yeah. S&M stuff that I didn't pick up on until I reread it in my adulthood. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, it's, I think it's a, it's a solid story arc that was, as we said earlier, quite concise in the comic book. Yeah. So they've got a lot of room to maneuver without pissing me off. Yeah. Have fun with it. Make it like make it fit the cinematic universe. Yep. And I mean, I'd rather see like I, I know I'll never get it, but um, I'd like to take the X Men and have one shot movies. Like, you know what I would love to see is a Nightcrawler movie because there's like real there's a lot of dramatic tension in yeah. Nightcrawler's life. Um, yeah, like they're doing with Wolverine. Yeah, and but I mean horrible. Wolverine you gets more one dimensional yeah. every time I see him. Yeah. But they're um, not they're not going to sell a Nightcrawler movie. There's yeah. many people they're going to sell before that, one, for sure. One of the things that, that... Maybe I'm not super concerned about there being so many X characters on screen in this is because I can pretty much say with a lot... Well, almost absolute certainty that most of those characters, you're just going to see for a second. Yeah. It's just going to be like... And a, then they're going to get vaporized by... Pretty much. Uh, or by in a, the first uh, movie, like they nodded to Colossus. Oh, yeah. And you had Jubilee. Yeah. Uh, again, little nods. And just enough to make the, the comic nerds out there go, Woo! But the well, promo... That, that was the third movie, too. It was just yeah. loaded with yeah. like the Morlocks and... And I didn't find it too much because they didn't focus on any of them. Yeah, which yeah. which was a shame because well, just Leech a was movie. the solution. <laughs> yeah. To... Oh, I, I yeah, most <laughs> the ends of most of the X movies were I'm sitting there staring at the screen, stunned, going, "You have the powers right there with you to yeah. deal with this." Without all right, we'll go with that one then. 
It's like, if you only could, there was some mutant out there with the movies. ability to cancel other mutants' powers, that would be so handy right now. And, like, the guy running the background, if only he was here. That guy, right there. <laughs> Seriously, though. I, I, yeah. For, I mean, yeah. a lot of the movie can end up being Wolverine talking to young Xavier. So, the, I mean, that's where your storyline's going to come from. But the trailer... There's the longing look between uh, Kitty Pride and Iceman there, Ellen Page and Bobby or whatever. So there's obviously little storylines on the side as well. Yeah. I don't know. Which is I, awkward. I need a couple I think more trailers. Days of Future Past, movie. wasn't she married to Colossus in the future? Well, uh, I can't remember, honestly. They were together for the longest time just in the comics. But just there's the one whole... I wouldn't mind seeing as a Kitty Pride movie. I mean, I'll yeah. never get any of these, no. but... Well, Unless, I mean, well, well, that okay, one, no, because no, no, because because Game of Thrones has shown us that small dragons can be done on screen now. Yes, but, and because it's Ellen Page behind that character, it's got a better chance than, you know, an Iceman movie with the guy that played Terry Fox, or whatever, <laughs> whatever his name is, I can't remember, <laughs> Sean something. Yeah, yeah Sean Ashmore, Sean he was in that Aaron Kevin Ashmore. Bacon show last year, I always, too. I always feel shitty about those two, because, like, one of them's got a pretty steady gig going and then the other of them I hope there's another wasn't like wasn't animorphs it's like <laughs> guys hey, dude's on. gotta eat come on no i know but it's like i i don't know I, that must be awkward because they're identical twins and you I, figure you figure like one day one of them goes you know what i just don't want to go in can you take this day oh i'm sure it happens <laughs> it would have to there's got to be some advantage yeah. to being twins can, yes. I, can I hijack the topics for a Go second? Right ahead. Would you please? Who has played The Wolf Among Us yet? The Fables game. Have you seen this? Gavin? I've, no? seen, I've seen trailers for it. I haven't played it. Telltale Hearts. They made Walking Dead last oh, year. Telltale the five Games. Yeah. Telltale Games. Sorry, Telltale Games. They made the five episode Walking Dead. Nice. Their new one is Fables. You play as Bigby. That's awesome. And the new yeah, episode came brilliant. out last week, and it's this like film noir serial killer kind of story, and it's got that same kind of hand drawn look that The Walking Dead had, but a little more detail because the backdrops look like what they're doing in the comic books and stuff. Like you walk into the main office where the mayor is. I won't give anything away. As well, a Vertigo yeah. fan, I. Thoroughly endorse this it's, product. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I got what, what platform is this on? I'm playing it on 360. Uh, it's on a couple of different platforms. Yeah. Not sure. I keep looking What's at Alex, but he hasn't. Fables. <laughs> yes, I haven't, yes. I haven't you haven't even it. heard of it. <laughs> Sorry. Fables no, is <laughs> actually a comic series my mother follows. Hmm. Oh yeah. They referenced it on oh. Big Bang Theory once, and she asked me about it. I'm like, well, here's the first trade. Oh, it's it's brilliant. And it's fantastic. she's practically caught up. Yeah. No, this is great. It's a great uh, Big B story. It's a a um, it comes from before the comic books when they've just first gotten to Fable Town. Nice. Yes. And um, you made me think of it earlier when you were talking about big endings on something. Mm. The ending of episode one, we have to wait a couple months for episode two now, is so shocking that it's like can't even put down the controller kind is of it, thing at the very end. <laughs> I believe it is. Yeah, there are other stuff. I can, is. I, well, then I can yeah. probably get it from yeah. my. It's great. I highly yeah, recommend it. The, the story is great so far. Fun. The only problem is it's too short. You know, played the episode in one night, want it more. But I mean, this is going to be a great uh, sales tool for people that are like, oh my god, there's a comic book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I oh, mean, and it's uh, such a great comic. Too. Oh, I mean, it's such look a word, at the merch coming up for Walking up. Dead. I mean, they've got a Monopoly game at this point. Yeah. Yeah, Telltale Games does a great job with these intellectual properties. Yeah, like they got a Walking new uh, Dead. Walking they Dead do. now, don't they? New uh, new episode Number, just came There's out. the 400 uh, Days six. thing that they Summer, put out, and then episode, yeah, mm. second season type thing. Yeah. But the Sam and Max games they did back to the those. That's Telltale. The, the, yeah, they were the, the short Sam and Max. They did yeah. like eight of them. Yeah, if not more. That was that was the thing. It drove me nuts that they were so short. I played them, and they were just you know I could get through them in about two hours. And yeah, I'm like, that's, that's about not what, enough. Yeah, that's about what the first chapter of Wolf Among Us <laughs> took. I was I got to a certain point, and it's like I just have to stop playing now because I don't want to finish it tonight. Made the mistake of looking at my achievement badges. It's like ah oh, shit. There's only one scene left. Might as well finish it. So it was yeah. I bet. Under two hours to finish it, just straight through. Well, but they're, they're inexpensive. It, it, does it, five bucks. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Does it finish? Like, does it wrap up? No, or? no. It's no, a it's, huge it's cliffhanger. Just a chapter. Yeah, it's a huge cliffhanger. 
Oh wait, there's nothing that pisses me but, off more than a clip. I mean, for five bucks, you get entertained for two hours. Yeah, you know, it's That's such not bad. really shitty at games like I am. Seven <laughs> week. <eight>. Yeah. <laughs> Preach on, brother. <laughs> or if you're into Mech Warrior like I am, um, I'm on to like a year and a half now. Let me <laughs> let me ask you guys a question. Okay, when, uh, relating to video games, I mean, I know that you play Mech Warrior online. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a story involved with that? Uh, well, there's just, a there's the, there's a campaign. Like when when you're talking about MechWare, what they're actually doing is following the legitimate storyline that begins in in thirty thirty twenty five or something okay. like that, and they're carrying on the on the plot. Now, what they are planning on doing is adding um, actual. Uh, it's called community warfare, mm-hmm. where everybody who's a member of one of the major houses. There's a big star map, yeah. and you click on the hot points, and you take you and your mech weight to that hot point, oh, and cool. and whoever wins actually changes the border nice. of that. So there's actually conflicting yeah. borders, and that's before the clans come in and wipe mm-hmm. everything out. So there is a story that's going on, but the way not really a narrative though yeah not a yeah, not a narrative. A if you well, know the story, you can yeah. follow it. Well, like what, what I'm getting at is. Um, I guess there's a, a, you know, I know that online games are super popular. Playing these games online is are super popular, and developers for things like Call of Duty and everything seem to be putting less emphasis on single the, player, the story mode, mm. and playing single player. Even. Oh, I totally agree. And mm-hmm. like, I think that this is a bad thing. Oh, I agree, but it's I, where the money is. You can't really blame. I, but I, this I, is... I can't blame them, but. There's certain, in my opinion, they're losing out on a whole segment because I will never buy a game uh, for sixty bucks that gives me a four-hour campaign or even a six-hour campaign. So um, any uh, video game developers Mac has no campaign, <laughs> yeah. and you don't pay a cent. But but any video game is. developers out there who are listening, um, don't. Neglect the angry loner market. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Some of us don't want to play with others. That's right. We don't play well with others. Like the only time I have to play a game is, is like Sunday afternoon. Uh, Desmond went to bed. I have like so I have some dishes to do, some laundry to do. Great. I have half an hour. That's where Telltale comes in. Yeah. Or That's the type I can of game play that half Telltale is Or I yeah. can do this. Or, or can... you can play Candy Crush on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Peggle. I recommend Peggle in the Xbox Arcade. Oh, don't give me that look. You know you do it. <laughs> no, actually, I don't have a Candy Crush on my face. But I've I, never played it. I put it on my phone once, and then I got frustrated and, and said, I "Why keep am getting, I getting frustrated?" I keep getting over requests games? for Candy Crush. So. No. If any of them are for times. me, I'm worried because I don't play that game. Yeah. Okay. I think, and the, the problem that you're seeing though is only going to get worse when the new consoles come out. It's just going to be faster. I have no interest in playing online. The stuff that I see posted on, you know, whatever, Reddit or whatever, yeah. looks fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> it and, just and looks like stupidity. You're going like, to be paired all the up. Mods and, yeah, you're going to be paired up with these people who, who have the time yeah. to play this for long periods of time, and you're just like... Ah, I died again. Okay. Ah, I died that's why again. I actually. That's why one of the reasons why I like uh, Mech Warrior because they include your playing time mm-hmm. in your matchup. So they balance out yeah. your experience as much as your weight that you're bringing. Because like I play a very my favorite weight to play is actually medium. It's uh, very light. By comparison, when you're on a field full of like the Griffin and the Wolverine ton. are both fantastic. I, I'm a big I'm a big believer in my 45 ton blackjack, and I know ah, it means classic. nothing to you. I know it means nothing to you, but uh, it's it has um, it, it doesn't really mean anything right now. But later on, when they go into community warfare, they're going to be adding drop weight and things like that, uh, so that right now. You when you play the game, you have uh, you go in with your one mech and you fight with your one mech. Um, so you get a how lot of people are, taking the heaviest mech and the most powerful thing and dropping it on the board. How much are you interacting with those other people that are online? Just um, by weapons fire. I like, uh, 
it depends. I have some people that I play with, and I interact with them quite a bit because there's we will get on Skype and we'll communicate back and yeah. forth and and call out targets and you're you're looking to outmaneuver. But it's your... always a set fight. Like you know what's going to happen. The problem that I have is with like GTA and stuff like that is that you'll be walking down the street and one guy just won't stop shooting you in the back of the head. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's just the community is stupid. Yeah. Well, uh, when you get in particular that, that spots. That actually happened today. I was playing with a friend of mine, and somebody on our team started shooting him. He was like, he was a 90-ton, uh, 100-ton mech shooting my teammate, who was a 55-ton mech. And my teammate screaming that his own teammate is shooting him. So I came in with mine and shot the mech's arms off so he couldn't shoot mm. him, and then I left him alone, right? That was my... That was my answer. So it happens uh, in the game too. You can't. You there is no cure for asshole. No. Um, they're, they're, you're always going to run into them. That's how it happens, and yeah. it doesn't matter as long as you're playing super online. Hmm? You what? Super glue. Would super be a glue cure is asshole. a cure for <laughs> asshole. <laughs> An unpleasant uh, experience, I'm sure, but a cure but all cure involved. <laughs> Um, yeah, but you're never going to get out of that if you're going to play online. If you're if you're going to go online, <coughs> you're always going to run into trolls. Right. Which is you're why I'm with gonna... you, and I want single yeah. player. Well, story I want to sit down for half yeah. an hour here, half an hour there, and kill stupid little computer guys. But now, that's why they're I getting like... smarter all the time. It's great. That's why I like Mech Warrior because I can do that I, in a half hour. I can play three games because they're timed matches at ten minutes each. I can play three games and set it aside, and I will have. Uh, I swear, man, you have you have shares in Mech Warrior. <laughs> I, it's, I, there's a reason why I only play one video game. It's because if I play more than one, they will eat my life. I am an I'm an obsessive person. Yeah. So if I get those story games, yeah, I will play them until the story's over. Uh, I will play them continually, and when I am not playing them, I will think about playing them. <laughs> That's just how I am. I have always been that way. So I can't play those story games. I can't play Borderlands, because it'll drive me nuts. I'll be thinking yeah. about it. Puzzle games? Oh, God. Mist? People hated me when Mist was out, because I'm like, okay, this is the, clearly there's a puzzle, and I'm missing something here. A friend of mine uh, keeps trying to get me to play the new Pokemon. And, and there are like 730 Pokemon now. Yeah. I I could not sit down and play this game. And I know they're not all on that game. Mm. Like, And they're not even on the two games that just came out. You have to trade with previous versions of the game. Yeah. So I take would... Take over your life. It would take over my life. So that's, like, that's it. Just try that's it, man. Yeah. It's like, no, if I try this fucking game, I'm literally on the hook... For 730 Pokemon now. And that's and that's and why I do mech work. Goodbye yeah. everything else in my life. However, yeah. however, the the opportunity to play Big B Wolf, I yeah, I can't it's great, I man. can't I can't It's good, you're done in two hours. Yeah, well that would kill me to be Good storyline. Well you're characters. at a cliffhanger in two hours. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah, that might kill you. You might want to wait till all five <laughs> episodes are out. But like I love this game so much, even though we give the old spoiler alert on on the podcast here, I won't ruin it. Okay, so I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Like, right. there's you almost can't talk about anything in the game without ruining it. Like the characters that pop up are friggin' they make you giddy, you know. And it's great, totally, totally great. I'm looking forward to it, but yes. not It'll, so much that I'm go yeah. not going to wait. I've got, Next spring is probably be yeah. when all five episodes are are done rolling. I'll out. drop my twenty five bucks and play them through all at the same time. No. Uh, you can probably get a bundle. You can probably get the whole lot for ten. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, a big thing. Oh, oh. Uh, we talked about the trailer for a trailer. No, a teaser. Uh, teaser, teaser for the teaser trailer for the trailer last week. Well, it came out. Woo! Got to see it. Uh, oh, totally came is, in my pants. There is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's no there's no conflict here because this. It, I thought it looked awesome. I think it looks yeah. great. Yeah, I'm totally. I down. have no mm. complaints. Yeah. Steve Rogers kicking ass. Bam! Thank Winter you. Soldier kicking ass. Bam! Shield being all secretive and kind of like uh, being actual what, what Shield, Shield yeah. supposed yeah. to be to the TV show. Yeah, yeah. the opposite, uh, which is awesome. And you know, Robert Redford is totally going to be a uh, bad guy. Yeah, like he has to be. He's and he's going to be kick ass. Oh yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, no, it's going to totally be an amazing happy. fucking film. Yeah, totally. And happy at the it. very end of the trailer, 
when fucking uh, Winter Soldier catches the shield. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that moment that I was talking about just before. <laughs> <laughs> totally just, oh, I love You had yeah. a squee moment. Seriously. That, yeah. And that, those are, that's what those things should do. Well, that was, the reason is because that was a direct, like, uh, clip from the comic book. Yeah. Like that whole yeah. roll, throw the shield, tank. Yeah. That was... I remember seeing that. I think I have the comic with that happening. I, uh, I have a... So, I work in, primarily out of the Sackville uh, uh, office for, for, my, for my employer. And most of the time I'm working uh, with all women. And they're actually pretty nerdy, uh, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. But, like, they don't know a whole lot about this stuff. But they have interest in it. Like, actual, genuine interest. Like... I came out and told them that uh, the Days of Future Past uh, trailer was up, and like I had just introduced her to Reddit, and she was like, "Oh my god, is it on Reddit?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yes, it is. It's <laughs> top post at the moment. It's, yeah. Everything is so, on like, Reddit." Yeah. She goes and checks it out, and that's great. So like, she I also showed her the uh, Winter Soldier Soldier trailer because she hadn't seen that, and she was genuinely excited. And I I asked, like, "Do you really want me to tell you who the Winter Soldier is?" <laughs> because I realized as I was talking with her, like she doesn't know. Yeah, and most of well, the, <laughs> most of the movie going audience won't know. Won't know who the Winter Soldier is, such as Derek over there. So you don't but remember us talking you... about. It. So let's not. Well, let's... no, because he's well, seen. No, I, I he's really been watching know. Avengers Earth. Yeah, Mindless it's going to come up. <laughs> it's, it's... Is Bucky on, or is Winter Soldier on that? Oh, way to give it away! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, spoilers. Yeah, I don't know who Bucky is. Yeah, there well, you that's go, the perfect. thing. It would be hard to yeah. explain he's to someone. He's spoiler resistant because like he's too ignorant yeah. to know. Well, <laughs> yeah. It'd be hard to explain to your coworker because yes, it's Bucky, and yes, he used to be Captain America's partner. But if you're not inside the comic community. You don't know how big a deal that was. Oh, that yeah. Bucky was well, the only guy that ever died yeah. and stayed dead. You know, well, and Gwen yeah, Stacy. They're, 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 like at first, it was uh, Uncle Ben. Oh, she'll be back. Bruce, yeah. Bruce's parents. Fuck off. No, she won't. Yeah, <laughs> she'll be a uh, superhero. She's kind of back. She'll a be bit. the Phoenix. She's alive right now in the Ultimate Universe, and she keeps coming back as a fucking clone. Yeah, but no, in the main universe, she was. Oh my god. I know. I continue. Morales continue. It's gonna come through. To our side with Gwen Stacy and uh, Aunt May. And they're gonna no, die. Aunt May is going to die because you can't have two Aunt Mays, but Gwen Stacy is going to come back. Well, they could have a Highland, they could have a Highlander rest and battle. She's going to team up with Carly Cooper oh. and the Wraith to bring back Peter Parker. You figured it out. Sorry. Uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, for the longest time, Bucky stayed dead. Mm-hmm. That was it. I mean, yeah, Jason Todd stayed dead for a little while. Uh, you got better. You got better. You got better. Yeah, I got better. <laughs> I think um, I'll go for a walk. <laughs> but I'm happy. No, it was so huge, <laughs> yeah, and the fact that Ed Brubaker, now. the guy who brought him back, is saying that yeah, uh, this is going to be an awesome film. You guys are putting a lot of weight in that. Eh? You mentioned that last week too. Well, well, he he's... does. He he created it, and he yeah. he's well, what if what if he likes shitty movies? What if his favorite movie is because like, he hasn't seen you know, the European movie? He just read the something. script, though. He yeah. just read the script, and he ought to know because he wrote the first script. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, he was. I, he was I, honest too. I'm, he said uh, in one of the articles I was reading. He, he even said like, "And yeah, okay, I am biased because I stand <laughs> yeah. money off of this." But <laughs> yeah, just yeah. playing devil's advocate. No, no, fair point. Stop. I just, uh, as a general, really like his work. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, it's the same if Neil Gaiman had come out and said, wow, Stardust is like the best movie I've ever seen. I would go to that movie right away because Neil Gaiman loved it. It was all right. But you know what I mean? Like, so it's it's who you like for sure. Like, Absolutely. Word, I word hated, of God. I didn't like the book, so I knew the, the movie wasn't going to be great. <laughs> um, but uh, actually, uh, Alex, I'm slightly off topic here. Have you read Uber? I, uh, I can't find issue one. The trade just came out. Did it? Yeah. Do you okay. own it? Of course. Can I borrow it when you're done? I'm done. Oh, cool. Can I borrow it? Of course. What's oh. Uber? It's so cool. It's like uh, the end of World War II, and like Germany is in flames. You know, Berlin's about to fall. Russians are coming in, and this battalion of German super soldiers shows up, 
and they've got different classes of them. They got like the basic guys, as they call destroyers, and then they've got their like four battleship guys, <laughs> and they're just wrecking shit because they're like Superman powered. And it all sort of spins from there. The, the Germans have figured out this thing that some people can be uh, given powers. And uh, an OSS agent who's been undercover as a Polish sympathizer for years grabs a secret, makes a run for the border kind of thing. Right, right. So, I mean, like, issue one or two literally starts with, depending if you count from zero or not, uh, literally starts with Hitler putting the gun in his mouth. And they're like, no, no, it's cool. We, we've, we've got super soldiers. Like, <laughs> we're good. All right. We're back in this thing. <laughs> Who's putting and, this title, this book out? Uh, dynamite. Dynamite. Or, Sounds any, like a dynamite. No, it's Avatar. Avatar. It is. You're oh, right. I've never heard of Avatar. Yeah. yeah. They, but it's, it the art is crossed. beautiful. The, Do we know the artist or the writer? Are they done. newbies? Uh, they're not new. Uh, I'm just, I'm blanking on the names. Hmm. But uh, I like Uber. That they it's, it. it's well worth reading. And uh, it's continuing on. And of course, once a secret gets out, you can't keep a secret forever. The Allies start working on their own uh, super guys, and uh, called uh, HMH, His Majesty's Humans. <laughs> and, nice. And of course, it go, it'll go farther, and eventually, we're going to see uh, Russian super soldiers. We're going to see uh, um, Japanese super soldiers? super soldiers. It's risk. They're yes. building up their armies. The armies are getting bigger on every continent in risk. Yes. It, if they put out an Uber risk, uh, I, I, like I would it. feel bad, but I'd probably buy it. <laughs> you wouldn't feel bad. Oh, I would. Cause You'd be crying. There's only you... really one version of risk that I <coughs> truly loved, and that was Legacy. And Legacy is brilliant. Oh, yeah. Original risk. Uh, original risk will lose you friends. Oh, Legacy, yeah. That's what I like about it. Legacy. That's how I trim the herd. Yeah, but <laughs> Legacy ends before you get... Really to fisticuffs. In, in, well, the the way the game is built is that it ends before you really put so much time that you become invested yeah. in the game. I, f I find about two and a half hours. At two and a half hours, everybody has put so much time into it that when they lose, it's actually an <laughs> affront. Um, it's ruined their week. Risk Legacy. Like, it, have I told you about this? I don't think so. So it comes in in like an attaché suitcase almost. Right, yes. Uh, you open it up. There's six sealed packages that have instructions on them. You're not allowed to open them until you've met certain objectives. Uh, when you're first playing the Does game... Do you get little badges and stuff? Stickers. Stickers. It's got that stickers, on the permanent board. stickers that go on the board at certain times. Oh, yeah, no, this isn't the one. Permanent writing that goes on the board. For example, when somebody wins a game, they get to write their name on the board. And they and can do name one a of, continent. One, well, that's one of the major changes they can do. Gavin, they this can fucking what? asshole. <laughs> uh, so they can make major changes to the board if they, if right. they win. Uh, if you if you lose but you're still alive at the end of the game, you can make a minor change to the board. So Gavin here wins the first game on my board. <laughs> so he gets to name or he gets to put his name in the winner's column. Yeah, and then gets to name a continent. Uh, next time he gets that continent, he gets, he gets extra, a bonus. He race. gets an extra army. Oh, okay. So he chose Australia. Good choice. Yep. Renamed it Gavistan. <laughs> Gavistan has no natural boundaries. <laughs> 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 so this That's is forever. Funny. Forever you can't get it back oh, from dude, him? dude. Later Challenge on. Challenge him and... Done. I, I, <laughs> I've been playing that with my brothers for like three years now because I bought it I bought it that year we reviewed yep. it for the first uh, for the first table of geekles yeah uh, and I bought it and I've been playing it every year my brothers and I get together and take a day and play yeah. as many games of this as we can <laughs> so we're like on game 12 so right. there's three more games uh, and and it's like it's a written the, the board never gets flipped because it's short enough but the things that you can do later on, like adding new water routes, yeah. which is great. Um, Atlantis rises from the depths. Funny. I have to check this out. It's, it's, really, it's a really slick In my awesome. experience, Unusual Game of Risk runs about four hours, and uh, the person who won is the most bloody-minded person you know. Or patient. The most patient person. Bloody-minded. Yeah, no, patient doesn't usually work in our yeah. games either. And you don't want to talk to them for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. With Risk Legacy, I find it runs about two and a half hours, and you're still grinning and smiling and saying stupid shit at the end of it. Funny. Uh, if you have a regular gaming group, it is hands down one of my absolute favorite board games. Hmm. And and you play it out until your 15th game, and after that, the board doesn't change. Uh, no, nope, so nope, there are still minor changes that you can make to the board. 
usually the, usually there will be pieces left that you unless you open changes. the package underneath the tray that says do not open ever did you open that yes we did. <laughs> there are 12 different envelopes i know i know we got so, the one that is don't tell me i don't want to know because I haven't opened mine yet. I don't want to know any envelopes that exist. We got to play that out. Dude. Yeah, I know. But don't tell me what your envelope says. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or here, hold on. You can if you want. No, 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 no. no that's, that's okay. That's, that's I, I, I know. I know what. Alert yeah. For people who listen to this, show. I know. That, I know <laughs> yeah, what two of the envelopes. But we're kind of picky of our own. Yeah, <laughs> so. On our own. Yeah. Um, here's something <laughs> that's kind of interesting. NBC <laughs> is rebooting Murder She Wrote. Woo! Yippee. Uh, Did, wait, didn't, didn't NBC, they already do that with Castle? Yeah, doesn't NBC <laughs> put out nice. Castle too? Yeah. I can, like, finally, we can actually find out. Not just geeks versus nerds knowing who would win between... Uh, 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 Angela Lansbury? And, and, well, no, it's Aunt <laughs> Jess. Oh, yes. I am yes, not yeah. proud of some of the things I said in that show. Uh, I'm actually <laughs> very proud of some of the things you said. <laughs> Her greatest, it's Angela Lansbury. Her greatest enemy is a is a flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling down the stairs. Um, so they're talking about putting uh, Alexandra Cunningham from Desperate Housewives in there. Oh, okay. Which one is she from Desperate Housewives? Does it matter? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So they're definitely, they're going with, um... Actually, she, she bothers the fuck out of me. Does As she? an actress, yeah. Alexandra or Angela Lansbury? Does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I can see the casting makes a certain amount of sense. I just... I, I just won't be watching. It's just unnecessary. <laughs> well, I, I think at this point they've largely run out of ideas. No, oh, really? Yeah, I think they largely ago. ran out of ideas when they redid it as Castle. Yeah, but they're just green lighting everything okay. at this point. Like seriously, Constantine. As much as I hope they don't fuck it up, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's going to be screwed up. <laughs> um, All right. So who do you cast as Matlock when they finally bring that stuff back around? Because if Murder She Wrote's a hit, who Matlock's you cast next on Matlock? the list without a doubt. Steve it'll Buscemi. be it'll be like a Buscemi. no 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 they'll never cast a white guy they'll cast like some Hispanic guy to be Billy Matt. D Williams <laughs> that's, that's Billy D Matt Williams Lock. that's what yeah. I want to see yeah. Jim well, oh my god I'm asking him during Halcon <laughs> would you consider being in a Matlock like as as a reimagined Matlock that would oh my god I want to watch this now somebody build me a portal to the dimension where this exists <laughs> um, go do. <dude. laughs> I'm trying. So last week, uh, we talked about the idea for the celebrity sleaze pool, and we've actually gotten uh, a bit of feedback uh, on it. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. I haven't, <laughs> yeah. but you have. <laughs> and you have, and you have. So that's... So we have a name. Uh, yeah. Some of, yeah. One of that, a piece of that feedback, Alex, I don't think I mentioned this to you yet, but a piece of that feedback from all the way out in Vancouver was a name. The sinning pool, as opposed to a swimming pool. The sinning, sinning pool. pool. I like it. Two I words, like it. sinning yep. pool. Simple. He's rolling it around in his brain. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Because okay. it, it acknowledges the Deadpool aspect to it yeah. without, uh, yeah. All right. I so like we've it. got the sinning pool. Now, um, just for ease of, uh, of scoring, I think it would be easiest uh, if... If we have Derek as our judge, and we have three levels, points one to five for low level kind of stuff you'd see every day, six to ten for something a little more serious, and eleven to twenty for like prison time, you know, conviction, conviction, court dates, uh, caught with a hooker, uh, a transvestite hooker. where where would a dog fighting ring rank on that? I would say that's somewhere in six that's, to that's, ten. That's in the six to ten point range. I would say yeah. six really? to ten. So is this what it? is this the part that we leave in Derek's hands? Yeah, Each yeah, week yeah. We bring back our but, act, but our we would, we people. Would, we would, make your case. Yeah, you'd and you make, make your, your case. case. Yeah. yeah, right. 
Okay, so we can kind of hash out the point system a little more next yeah. week, too. Yeah. Once we have no, people but that's, to I think assign that's points a nice to. nice round we yeah. have. Right. It'll become yeah. more clear as we yeah. hash this out. And and there's no reason why the people listening can't throw in their, uh, two, cents. their two cents on how much these points should be char- uh, charged. Or let your, uh, your team member in the table here uh, uh, let them know about something that's happened. Yeah. Because, uh... Um, one thing, are, are we going to allow, like, if if we make our picks tonight, and two weeks from now, I'm like, I, you know, I really feel like I made a mistake picking this person. Once a week. You so one someone. week you can drop someone and add someone. Okay. okay. You can't do more than one, but every week you can bring in a, a ringer, as cool. you will, if you like. Okay. okay. I, I think that's that. completely reasonable. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because I was completely also, unprepared for tonight. Well, it's, no. not, not only not only that, um, like you could pick somebody who's on their way out no. of the public eye. It's always picking the ones that are in. You'll get yeah, two or timing. three. You'll get two or three weeks out of somebody, and then I think you have to cycle them out for the next idiot yeah. along there. We should uh, draft Who our starts? team. Uh, if you want, let's go over this again. Wild card actors, musicians, politicians. And sports stars. Sports stars. Athletes. Oh, how did I well, forget Why that? did I add that one? <laughs> well, I mean, they are renowned for doing some pretty yep. dumb shit. So. Yeah, but I can't think of a damn one of them. I had. To, it took me a long time <laughs> okay. to come up with. I'm curious what, what Mr. Research over there quick came up way, with for sports. Quick way to decide. And we, uh, rock, paper, scissors. One, one two, two, three, shoot. So you start. Oh, cool. So then we'll go clockwise. Yep. All right, so we start with uh, Alex. Um, all right, I'm going to start with a uh, bit of a gimme, but uh, Stephen Harper. Ah. Nice one. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I, I am very hopeful that the next two years are terrible for him. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with my uh, musician pick. I uh, think that Chris Brown is uh, definitely going to be seeing some airtime and when you have mike tyson telling you to chill the fuck out <laughs> yeah. you've got you've got some problems oh so. certainly <laughs> certainly so that's okay uh for my musician i'm gonna take bieber okay because he's been fucking up royal more money than brains i i feel like he's gonna be a good uh, point earner for the whole season uh i'll take my musician out of the off the top as well and i'll go with kanye Nice. Uh, thinking that he's quite heavily in the uh, papers these days with the new ring and the wedding coming up and the baby and so on, so I'll put I'll put Con- Kanye and as my first pick. Your second pick. Uh, second pick, the Mike Duffy's. Of, That's what I was uh, going to take world, on my right? next one. Yeah, I'll, I would I'll, take I would take Mike. Duffy. Yeah, I'll put I'll put Duffy. Mike Duffy is uh, you'll be able to drop him once he's expelled. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, Mike he's, Duffy. He's going to be working this one for a while. Oh, I was I seriously tempted on that one. Yeah, thinking I'm going to go another way with politician. I'm going to take Sarah Palin. I think oh, that, that crazy woman has back. not. Oh yeah, we've not heard the last of her, and with the whole American meltdown race recently, I think uh, she's going to be a really strong one for foot and mouth. With that said, uh, I am going to counter your uh, your uh, uh, Kanye choice by taking in my wild card slot Kim Kardashian, so oh. that any time that he comes up, I'm probably going to score points as well. Yeah, see, I, I see Kanye's blow up being a solo thing. He's gonna he's gonna yell at some little news host or something oh, and, like that. Oh, but it doesn't matter if he does. You know, Kim Kardashian's not going to <laughs> yeah. drop the opportunity to stand in front of a camera and say something stupid. So Funny. I've got I've got a pretty good. Right. I, I'm pretty safe with that choice. Choice number two for Alex. It's really obvious, but Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Uh, for my first musician, she was... I figure I can milk that a couple times. Um, <laughs> she was high. <laughs> <laughs> she was high on my list as well, but I was. Uh, I figure be with the she's album out, I think she's probably going to, to be. No, uh... I don't think so. <laughs> she's got like at least three more singles to come out of that. Don't call um... it a comeback. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and she's going to keep, uh, you know, slinging words with Sade and I don't know no. Sinead O'Con- O'Connor. She was. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am going to go with another obvious one. I'm going to burn another political candidate here, just because I follow politics pretty regularly. Mm-hmm. Justin Trudeau. 
Oh, yeah, he was on my list yeah, too. Because I, I, I really, he has so much to prove and so far to go. And there are so many people whose job it is right now to simply look for dirt yeah. on that guy. He's too so young. You never he's know when something's going to come out. He's not. No, he's not. <laughs> he's they, not. they can find dirt well, he, on anybody. He got through the pot thing pretty well. So yeah. I, I, yeah, I know. it's I, a good choice. It's a, it's it's a, great a solid choice. choice. I'm not. Yeah. I got I two of the three leaders. <laughs> of the three <laughs> yeah. main leaders of the Canadian uh, well, federal yeah. politics. Well, I'm going to Mulcair. What's uh, that? Because that's what I follow, and that's what I. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. like like Kim Kim Jong Un come up way more? Uh, I looked at it more as a wild card because he's, he's like a crap And you choose politicians so one of them has to be a wild card, right? No, wild no, no, card No, no, we're getting two, two of every category and then two wild card. Oh, okay. And then there'll be five starters from the ten that we've gotcha. chosen. Yeah. All right. So, so we're back to I'm on my third pig pick here. Uh, and I am going to bounce your uh, your Mike Duffy choice by by uh, glomming onto Pamela Whalen as well. Uh, that's my it, whenever whenever Mike Duffy is mentioned, so is Pamela Whalen. So I'm if she doesn't perform, I can dump her. I've got no. other choices, but I think she's got at least two or three weeks of play in her before uh, before it's like it's it's low points. Like I'll grant, I'm not going to see more than. Uh, four or five points from her a week, but I'm pretty sure that's a guaranteed four or five no. points. Funny. All right, Gavin. Uh, for cool. actress, Amanda Bynes. Oh, oh shit! You. I was hanging on to her. I, I wasn't yeah, me sure. Too. I didn't oh, think man. you were gonna. That's oh, yeah. That's a good choice. Good choice. Uh, really here's good. hoping she does it in front of a camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm. I just seem to want to get rid of my politicians right off the bat. Uh, Michelle Bachman. Oh, to go with an American nice. politician who opens her mouth a lot. Uh, oh, and I get two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a strange one. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. I have this feeling that she's ready to say something stupid, and we're at that hundred day mark for the Olympics before the Olympics begin, and there's the whole gay pride thing. The Russian. I have a feeling Whoopi Goldberg might say something stupid. I'm going with Whoopi Goldberg as my first actor. Okay. I don't know how to spell her name, obviously. For my second politician. I'm taking Kim Jong Un. I'm going to uh, take the sports cherry here and go with uh, Lamar Odom. Oh, Good. you dick! Yeah, good choice. That's where I'm, I figure that's I know nothing. Well, uh, I don't know Kardashian anything. connection. Yeah, I don't uh, know anything about it either. But I do know that when I <laughs> when I googled sports star scandal, his name came up like four times. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. This guy <coughs> might perform. If he doesn't, I'll bench his ass and find yeah, somebody else. No, no, else. it's a good, no, it's he a was, good choice. Yeah, that was I was kind of. Yeah, that's why I went for sandbagging me. now. <laughs> yeah, um, Alex, because now I have no politicians. I have another politician to pick, and I have no idea who to. Um, I'm gonna go wild card. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, I feel like he's due for a something. Game? Yeah. Well, he That's always good. says something stupid. Yeah. I'm going to do um, another wild card. I'll do uh, Jim Carrey's ex-wife. Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy, thank you. I saw that. I I figured she was pretty much done. <coughs> by... She's not done. She's, she's got a, a new show. She's okay. a talking she... head and she never shuts her face. <coughs> no. I'm going to go for my second musician. I'm going to snag Nicki Minaj because if her mouth isn't flapping, it's they're staring at her ass, and that's going to piss off all kinds of people. So, uh, for my first wild card, Snooki. Snooki, <laughs> you think she's going to come back? Well, I she think just... she just got kicked off of Dancing with the Stars. She's going to burn out real fast. There's probably a club in in uh, Jersey somewhere on fire as we speak. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll take a I'll take a, a sports one off. I'm going with Brandon Merriweather of the Washington Redskins. Who um, anybody? No, no. Suspended in the moment at the moment in the NFL for head to head hit. Told the media the other day that uh, that just means that I have to go for the knees now. If I'm not allowed <laughs> to hit high. So he's one of those like really well brought up kind of guys. So there's my first sports pick, Brandon Merriweather. And I'm going to take uh, 
Vladimir Putin as one of my wild cards. Uh, good choice. Olympics coming up. Nice. It's in the news a lot. Yeah. And he's crazy. And oh, he's uh, crazy. He's back crazy. Well, yeah. 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 All right, Gavin, back to you. Uh, for my first athlete, O.J. Simpson. He's in jail, isn't he? Yes, he is. <laughs> not going to get up to much shit in jail. Cooked he up. just had some prob- probation hearing. Right. And things are, are coming to the surface, so I, I feel like it's... Derek has to steal a mic for a second. OJ actually just got in trouble for trying to steal cookies in jail. In jail. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> I never stopped. I, I swear, this is a real story. The, the guard actually <laughs> stopped him and said... What is that under your shirt? And he said, nothing. And they made him open his shirt and cookies from the cafeteria. I have him. to say, though, so, stealing cookies think, is like 0. 0.5 points. I, I, <laughs> There's I'm not, willing, I'm it's not very give, badass. I'm willing to give Gavin a single point on that this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the cookies. For the cookies. Okay, no, that's, that's cool, cool. Okay, well, I'm <laughs> going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with my second wild card... Uh, and this is a bit of a a long shot, but I'm going to go with Dr. Drew Pinsky from Celebrity Rehab because I figure those celebrities are dropping dead left, right, and center. Yeah. He's and, not killing them, though. No, no, but like seven of the last people who have appeared on Celebrity Rehab have died, mm-hmm. and every time one of them does, they look at this guy. So That's going to take uh, its toll. Back to you, Alex. Were we too quick? Um, I'm I'm gonna kind of go outside of my element here. Uh, Bill, tell me if I'm off base here. Okay, Ron Artest. Put Ron Artest on your list. And awesome. He's on Key and yeah. Weekly. He's Is on what? Really? Sorry, Key and Peele. Oh yeah, that's Peele right. Weekly. Yeah, World News. That's, that's awesome. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So Meta, Meta World <laughs> News, that's awesome. I can't stand the guy, but that's really funny. Meta, <laughs> Meta World <laughs> News is very funny. And your so, second? Um, Tiger Woods. Oh, he was on my list. Oh, yeah, good one. I, I'm. People like that don't change. Uh, uh well, so my, that goes out your sports. Yeah, that's his sports. My final politician. I'm going for Bashir al-Assad, the president of Syria. <laughs> He's going to get a lot of negative press. He's got a lot of negative press. Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow? Tebow, sorry. Tim Tebow is a good choice because we haven't heard anything from him for weeks. And we're at that midway point. He's got kicked to the NFL. He's not working well, league, so. Yeah, exactly. But he's got to he's gotta find some place mm-hmm. soon. Anybody that openly religious has a boyfriend yeah. they're not telling us about. <laughs> So I've got two here. Uh, I'm going to uh, be a little tricky. And in my music category, I'm going to put Selena Gomez. Nice. Who has a... Who could also be an actor, mm-hmm. obviously. But uh, does have a singing career as well. And has a connection to Bieber, who somebody took off yeah. the table already. Mm-hmm. And a long shot. Uh, but I'll fill out my actors with Vanessa Hudgens. I was totally thinking about that. She's but... pretty squeaky clean. Uh, other which than which some, pretty much means she's got some. There's some dig, big points, dig, yeah. possibly. Yeah, exactly. So I'll, I'll fill up my actors with Vanessa Hutchins and Whoopi Goldberg. Holy shit! You want to talk about two sides of a spectrum? <laughs> <laughs> but back to you, Gavin. For my other wild card, I'm going to take Chef Ramsay. I'm going to pick my final sports star, and I think Beckham. Beckham's pretty clean, but yeah, they're both around. But the same. Beckham is in Britain, and there's nobody who's more scrutinized than the British. Yeah. By their tabloids. I'll pick my two actors, Bruce Willis and Will Smith. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Willis is pretty crazy. Bruce when they Willis. go, they're going to go. My, I'll take my first actor. I'm taking Russell Brand. All right. For my last actor, I had a really hard time with this one, but I think Megan Fox hasn't shot her mouth off in a while. Uh, That's yeah. true. So as my sports pick, um, Ryder Hezjedal. Anybody? No. Canadian cyclist. Tour de France kind of guy. Uh, hit the news today. Had a little bit of a drug uh, story in the news. And I think it's only going to get worse, unfortunately. Because I really like him, but fuck. Nobody rides one of those bicycles without being drugged up, apparently. And uh, my wild card, which is also a sports person, is a gentleman wait- awaiting trial at the moment named Aaron Hernandez. Oh, yeah. Who used to play for the Patriots until they in- dropped him because he has apparently murdered at least one person. Allegedly. <laughs> Still have one more. What? Yeah, yep. one more because we got to get back to Alex. All right, so I want a little Wayne. 
because, I mean, if he's that rich and is still drinking cough syrup, maybe he likes the taste. Yeah, it's delicious. It fucks you up. I have a <laughs> nice app. commercial. <laughs> it's delicious and it'll fuck you up. <laughs> um, like Mr. Show. Sketch. I have one actor left, and geez, I really have. I don't think it'll score me any points, but it's the only one I've got left, and it's really stretching for actor. But I'm going to go with Rihanna. For she was in This Is the End okay. and and Battleship and Battle. Yeah. I try not to think of that. So um, I'm going to go, like, I'm probably going to swap her out next week when I find somebody better. She might have, I, she might have been a, a solid choice for, uh, for a musician. Alex has okay. to finish us off here. To round out my list, who picked Chris Brown? Me. Right off the top, Andrew. All right. You and I, we're head to head. Drake. <laughs> uh, He's Canadian. He'll never Canadian? do anything. No. But they hate each other. Yeah, they hate each other. Yeah. They their crews have fought in New York City. If nightclub. Brown fires a shot, Drake is usually ducking. So yeah. the stories are quite so interwoven. I'm, I, and I'm thinking that, that our pretty boy Degrassi alumni <laughs> is is going to have enough and maybe make some scandalous waves of his own. So field all ten, and like you say, each week you can uh, take one out and replace it with someone else. Right. I know that what will happen is I will replace one. And then they will like. That's how it know, works. They'll dig up like thirty-eight toddlers. That's why I want to go last <laughs> because when you give baby. somebody up, I want to snatch them. Weirdly up. specific <laughs> there, but <laughs> I have yes. plans. In not motion. thirty-seven, not thirty-nine, thirty-eight corpses, and not just corpses, <laughs> toddler corpses. <laughs> Those are the rules they've set. Uh, pick your own horrible people and follow along. See how you score against us. Uh, <laughs> Or don't, because we're horrible, <laughs> horrible people for doing this. But it's hilarious, too. Pretty much, we've run way over time, even with how yeah. much I'm going to edit this. It's still way over time. So I want to say goodbye, and we'll start over here. I'm Gavin. Thank I, you for listening. Uh, yeah, I'm Bill. Thanks for listening. And I'm good out. luck. Good luck in the sinning pool. 38. 38. 38 toddlers, dude. God. And I'm Pig Monkey, and that's the show. <laughs>